Okay, so we bought a dartboard. And um, here it is. Looks decent enough. Since I don't know how to play darts, it should be good enough, right? I've got the little feet and the screw mounted. Now I'm starting to make the backboard. So I have somewhere to hang it. I have no idea where it's going to go yet. But I love this as Asian weather is very damp and humid. Please store a dartboard in this box or in a dry container with the silica gel after every use. That might be a good idea, but I bet I don't do it. I can just about guarantee I don't do it. So it may fall apart in the weather. We'll find out. Let's go make a backboard. Okay, I found a scrap piece of quarter inch plywood, which is a good backboard. It's supposed to be three foot by four foot. This is an odd measurement, so it is eight feet long. So if I cut it exactly in half, nice and straight, which you know I will not, it will be crooked. But if I cut it straight, it will be perfectly four feet. Put the two pieces together, it will be four inches too wide. It's going to be 40 inches instead of 36. That's good enough. The trick is going to be this straight line. I measured it. It's a nice line. Cutting it, it's not going to be so good. But we'll see. Or we'll only play when we're drunk, and then we won't notice it's crooked. But we're just going to put them side by side, mount it as the backboard. Still not sure where to put it. I mean, we could mount it on the side of the house, but that sure seems awful permanent. Well, this log was sitting on the ground. And I wish I'd taken a video, but wasn't thinking about it because I was digging a hole that's about three feet deep. We just planted this stick in the ground three feet deep and we're going to figure out a way to mount this for making a frame for it. We're going to mount it to that and then mount the board. It's a whole lot of work to get a dartboard hung up, but I'd like it to, you know, be about right. I need a backboard on it because God knows I'm going to miss when throwing darts. But we're going to mount the frame, I mean the boards, there and then put the dartboard on it. Um, problem is this is sticking out this was the side I intended to use but coming out this way this tree branch blocks it so they want to use this other side which has big chunks sticking out of it we'll have to cut off because we can't turn this on the gun it's heavy it was all I could do to pick it up and drop it in the hole um, need a Scotsman that could do a caber toss to throw that some gun in there and I'm not wearing my kilt, so anyway, yeah, trust me, that's a three foot deep hole I just dug. Should have got pictures, too bad, not pulling it out for you. Okay, anyway, I surprisingly cut that piece straight, a lot straighter than I thought. This is going to be the back of it. It's going to be basically three foot by four foot. And this is going to be the front that we're going to be throwing darts at. I don't have any felt to cover it. We're going to make a frame to stiffen it, nail it to that stick we just put in. But you know what? I think that's going to be tomorrow because cutting the board was easy. Digging the hole was kind of tough. And it's 5 o'clock in the evening. I'm going to take a shower, give me a drink. So we'll come back to this tomorrow. I've got the two pieces of wood cut for the backdrop the backboard this is the back of the backboard I have some boards here I'm make a frame for it my concern uh, quarter inch plywood is actually fine for a backboard this is going to be the front because I don't have any felt but um, it's going to be outside we're, like I said we're mounting it to this post and I'm curious after a couple of rainstorms what's it going to look like the dartboard of course will go inside when not being used I wouldn't leave it outside I've got a box with some silica gel I'll keep it in that when not using it but this frame I think it's going to get warped and split and ugly after a couple
couple of rainstorms. So this may be a lot of work for nothing. Um, I guess we'll see. If it does get messed up, I'll make a second one and put it in the sala, which is, I can't use the word patio anymore. They've um, let me know that patio is the little pavilions at the cemetery. So when I say we're building a patio, it sounds like we're going to bury somebody. See how easy that was? I was going to try that with a saw, and it would have taken me all day, and I would have broke my arm. And Uh-oh, what you got? Oh, he's got a car. We're going to have to play with cars. Um, yeah, that, um, that knife is much smarter. We were concerned that the board might uh, get warped and fall apart in the rain. It's quarter-inch plywood, no paint, and it's not going to last. So, um, uncle came over and unfortunately took the hammer and saw out of my hands and finished the frame for me. He did a better job than I would have and much faster. But I was having fun. I haven't actually done anything in ages here. Um, but it works. I actually threw those. You know, there's no bullseyes, but hey, come on. Um, it just sits down in this little slot. And then we have this wire twisted on the two ends, which is attached to our pole. So we can take off the wire, take it out of that stand, go put it away when it starts to rain. So it's mounted fairly well. It doesn't move too much. I mean, it, it kind of wobbles if you shake it, but don't shake it. Um, it is the right height. It seems kind of high. Um, I've got the mounting bracket. Well, here, let's see if I can do this one-handed. I know I can't. Okay. There's the mounting bracket. And the back of the board's got the screw in it. It's got the little pegs. So it's, it's an okay board, actually. You just hang it when you're going to use it. Take it down easy enough and generally you wouldn't take down the backboard but since this is outside like I said we just unwrap the wires on the two nails and it's just sitting down in here so it's kind of hey, it'll work now I have to rehang it it's actually kind of hard to hit that hole but uh, so yeah that's the board would have taken me another three hours he did it in like 30 minutes so I was having fun, but now I'm going to throw darts. Yeah, there's only five darts there, I know. Hit the backboard right above the 20 at the top, and it fell. But yesterday, I went right above the 20, just, just like that. Right above it, like I did today. But there was no backboard, so it went through it, and it landed in the fire. And that was a bad thing. It was sitting there. While they were burning trash, it landed in the fire. So that's what the backboard is for, because I suck. But I'm having fun, and that's what counts. I'd get a video of throwing darts, but it's sad. I'm by myself. Some of these people have jobs. It really gets in the way of fun. Go get a drink, then I'll come back and throw some more darts.